Sante. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Watu wanaokuru muko. Watrukana muko. Watu walodwa muko. Wanafunzi wetu muko. Na viongozi wetu wako. Asante, asante. Mimi ningependa tu kusema kwa ufupi. Sitataka kusema mambo mengi. Mimi nataka kutoa furai yangu binafsi na pia ya watu wa Turkana County kwa sababu ya yale nyinyi watu wetu wa Turkana wanakuru mnafanya. <laughs> nataka kushukuru viongozi wenu wa watu wa diaspora wa Turkana wetu. Saa zingine sitaku kusema ati nyinyi ni watu wa diaspora. Nyenye ni watu rukana, yes. muwe na kuru, muwe iselo, muwe laikipia, muwe wapi, popote Kenya. Nyenye ni watu rukana, na kamwe amuta itua watu rukana wa diaspora. Kwa hivyo sisi tumekuja hapa kama viongozi wa rukana county, nataka kushukuru mbunge wetu wa rukana central, wale wengine pia walikuwa barabarani kama mheshimiwa Nicholas na mheshimiwa Protas mheshimiwa speaker alibaki kuongojea bunge kwa sababu wewe msiezi wote wako upande huu na kesho ni siku ya bunge haitakuwa vyema kwamba bunge itabaki na mna hiyo bila uh, mtu ambaye atashikilia na tumekuja kuonyesha umoja wetu kama watukana Mambo ambayo yamefanyika kwamba nimeitwa hapa DCI kutoa taarifa ama otubwa ama mambo ambayo ninayajua kwa yale mambo nimeulizwa mimi. E, mimi kama gavana wenu sijawachukulia mambo hayo kwa ubaya wowote. Kiongozi lazima ajibike kwa maneno, kwa matamushi kama kweli umesema mambo fulani. Kwa hivyo mimi niliweza kutimiza haja kwamba nimehitwa na ofisi ya serikali. Na hakuna kiongozi hako juu ya sheria. Ukweli ama uongo? Hakuna kiongozi hako juu ya sheria. Mimi ikisemekana kwamba kuna mambo nimeyataja. Nitakuja niajibu. Na nimekuja nikiwa na hao viongozi ili tushirikiane pamoja kuzikia ni mambo yapi tumeitiwa sisi kama kaunti ya Turkana. Na mimi nataka kushukuru serikali kwa sababu imeonyesha kwamba kila kiongozi lazima atajibika wakati kuna shida ama hata wakati hakuna maneno mabaya. Mimi niliweza kuonyesha kwamba nikiwa mtu mkristu niki, nikiwa kiongo, kiongozi ambaye pia aogopi mambo niliweza kuja na nikasikia kwamba tumeitwa kwa sababu kuna mambo yanasemekana tumechochea ghasia kati ya majirani na watukana lakini jambo langu kubwa ni kwamba mimi nikiwa kiongozi wa Turkana nitaketi nitakaa kwenye kiti changu ya ugavana kutetea haki ya watukana wakati wakati wowote wakati wowote kwa hivyo yale yanasemekana sisi tunatoa matamushi ya kuchochea ghasia ama pengine ya kufanya watu wapigane ama mengine yale yanahusiana na hayo hayo maneno hayatawahi kamwe kutokezea kwa kaunti ya Turkana sisi ni sisi ni watu wa amani watu kana ni watu wa amani sisi atupigani na majirani sisi kamwe atupiganangi na serikali na hakuna siku tutahesabiwa kwamba wakati jarama aliingia kwenye kiti eti watu kana wamepigana na majirani hakuna mipango tumepanga kuleta watu wengi kwenda kupiga wengine sisi tunapiga kila wakati kama kaunti ya Turkana tunapigwa kila wakati 
kaunti yetu ya Turkana kaunti ya, ya Turkana East inapigwa kila wakati haijapita hata siku mbili e, tumepigwa na majirani tumepigwa karibu leo ni tarehe kumi na mbili si ndio tulipigwa tarehe nane tulipigwa tarehe moja tulipigwa ile mwezi mwingine karibu mara nne tunapigwa kila wakati lakini yale zetu tumefanya kila wakati tunaita serikali kwamba serikali wakoa sisi wakati tunapigwa kule Turkana East sehemu za Kapedo na Paytom Lokore Lopi eh, kwa kralz mingi sisi tumekuwa tukiita serikali na tumeita serikali kupitia ofisi ya serikali ambayo iko lodwa kwamba mambo ya kupiga watu kana kila wakati na sisi atusemi kitu hayataendelea namna hiyo tunataka serikali aingilie na aingilie sawa sawa na pia atutaki tuitwe kwa sababu kuna watu sehemu fulani wanapiga kelele kwa maruninga eti lazima sisi tuitwe sisi lazima tuitwe wakati kuna makosa. Sio tuitwe kwa sababu kuna kiongozi fulani jirani anasema ita gavana wa Turkana, ita suji mbunge wa Turkana, wa Turkana East ama mbunge wa wapi? Lazima tuite wakati kuna haja ya kuita sisi. Si ndio? Yes. Eh lazima tuitwe wakati kuna haja. Kwa hivyo sisi kwa heshima kuu ambayo tunapeana kwa serikali yetu Tunasema tunahitaji watu wa Turkana wapewe nafasi ya kuwa na amani. Kwa sababu kupigwa kwetu inajulikana kwa serikali. Watu wetu kupigwa barabarani na kuuliwa watoto wetu wakisafiri inajulikana kwa serikali. Ukweli ama uongo? Watu wetu kupigwa sehemu za Kapedo kila wakati Turkana East inajulikana na serikali wakati walimu wa wetu na askari wetu wanauliwa barabarani inajulikana na serikali itakuwa ni jambo la ku, kusikitisha, kusikitisha sisi kwamba kuna watu kana wanaitwa kuliko kuita wale wana, watu wanaua watu barabarani wanaua askari we cannot as a county we are not going to allow a scenario where there are people who have taken the law of this country into their hand that we cannot allow this country is run by some laws it has procedures and some people who take it for granted that this country can be run by thugs by criminals by militia groups this is a country that must must be steered in a proper direction and we want to thank the president for sending the kenya defense forces to come and protect the town of Kainuk. Kama inge kuwa protection ya Kenya Defense Forces. Town ya Kainuk ainge kuwa leo. Ainge kuwa leo. Mimi kama gavana wa Turkana County yale mambo nimefanya ili kuhakikisha tuko na amani. Sikati yetu na majirani. Sisi tuliweza rudisha bunduki tarehe 5 mwezi wa kumi. Bunduki 23 kuonyesha kwamba sisi ni wapenda amani sisi tulitoa eco lodge yetu ya Turkana county tukapeana kwa national government ili ipate kwa house eh, watu wa JSU mali JSU wanaishi mbele ya Kainuku ni ofisi ni rasilimali ya county ya Turkana ambaye ni county ya Kenya hiyo ni kupenda hiyo ni kupenda amani ama kutapenda amani hiyo ni kupenda amani ama kutapenda amani. Sisi tunafanya kazi na security team ya county na kila wakati tunapeana intelligence ya kusaidia wao wakabiliane na ma, na maadui, wakabiliane na wakora, wakabiliane na wale watu wamechukua sheria ya Kenya kwa mikono yao. Sisi tunapeana. Hiyo ni kupenda amani ama kutapenda amani. Sio ni kupenda amani? Yes. Mnataka mimi nipende amani ama ni, niwe mtu wa ghasia? Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kusema pia kufurahia serikali ya National wakati nilideal niliongoza delegation kwenda kwa deputy president. Tukaomba bunduki ya NPR. 
ilikuwa ni kwamba wakuja wa protest kama watukana hatu kwenda kutumia silaha ya haramu tuliita serikali wapate kutu protect hiyo ni kupenda amani ama ni kutopenda amani si tunapenda amani kama watukana kwa hivyo wakati wowote sisi tukuitwa na institutions yote ya serikali ambayo ina angalia mambo ya sheria ama vile tuna, tuna e, tunafuata sheria sisi tutakuja na mimi nimekuja nimeshirikiana na serikali tumefanya yale yote tumeambiwa tufanye muradi tu ukweli wa mambo fulani yatokese lakini tunataka tuambie majirani wasiwe watu wa kutenda makosa na baadaye wanapiga kelele etileteni jaramaya sujileteni nani kwani mimi ni baba yao you want to kill us eh? unless they want me to represent the two counties unless wanataka mimi niongoze county ngapi wakifanya vitendo yao wapi na potikan wauwe watu barabarani wapi na potikan kwani mimi ndio natumanga nyi kuwa watu i don't send criminals to kill our innocent people our innocent kenyans kwa hivyo kama wewe we, unakabiliwa na sheria alafu nakosa mali pa kuingia alafu unasema ati wapi governor wa Turkana alisema nini governor wa Turkana sisi tulisema nini tumeoa watu tumechochea ghasia sisi tunaishi na pokoto wa pokoto north kwa miaka tisa sasa bila kupigana bila uchochozi bila ghasia na hawa wenye wanasema wanaletea sisi ghasia kwa wana yao wanataka sisi tufanye nini wanataka tufanye nini kwa hivyo mimi nimechaguliwa ku protect pia watu wetu na niambie serikali watu support kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtu rukana anauliwa na adui yes. na mimi nilisema yule adui anaua watu wetu kila wakati hata mimi ni sasingine naambianga watu hata mwanamke wewe ukiwa bwana ukuchapa mke wako kila wakati kila saa unapiga kwa kichwa unapiga kwa tumbo unarusha chini unafanyia vituko yote ile siku atatoa mwiko si atakupiga si atakuumiza kwa hivyo kwa hivyo atutaruhusu kupigwa pigwa kila wakati kama sisi ni wajinga we will appeal to the government we will always appeal to the government of Kenya to protect us yes. to protect us lakini kupigiwa kelele na majirani ofyo ofyo kila wakati atutaruhusu my friend atutakubali wewe unaenda unapiga jeshi juzi wamepiga wanajeshi wetu wawili wamevunja vunja mikono ni turkana walienda kupiga wa majeshi kuna siku umesikia mturkana ameenda kupiga kambi ya jeshi kwa nini serikali wasipate ukweli wa maneno ya yale mambo yanatendeka tuna inakaa tunabahatisha mara sijui nini mturkana hajaenda ku raid for the last 10 years kwani watu wakapenda wamewahi ku raid mtu hebu semeni tu na lazima tuambiwe ni tarehe ngapi watu organize groups ya trukana isa ama trukana sawa wameenda ku raid watu yeah. tuambiwe ni lini kuliko kukaa kwamba sisi wote ni sawa kuna watu hawachokoza wa serikali kuna wale wanachokoza who are you supposed to point your finger to yule anachokosa ama yule anakaa so sometimes lazima tupate maneno ya insecurity right atutakubali kabila moja ichokoze kila mtu alafu sisi wote tena tunaitwa tunaandika tuna nini that will not work on well aitaka mzuri especially for some mimi nimezunguka yani mipaka yetu yote nimeenda igwanda karibu mara kumi kutafuta amani kati yetu na majirani mimi nimeenda Ethiopia mara karibu tano kutafuta amani kati yetu na majirani tumeenda hata na kindiki mpaka kule kwa mpaka nadapal kwa hakikisha kwamba tunaishi kwa amani na watu wa South Sudan tumekuja West Pokot tumekuja kwa mpira ya Murkomen tumefanya mambo mengi tunaishi na Pokot maelfu wa, wa North Pokot kwa amani tunacheza mpira hata hivi karibuni mimi naenda kuwachangia Arambe na hao wale wanatuchokoza wanatupiga 
at tunataka tufanane nao tuwe wote wajinga hatutakubali that we can't accept kama wao wamechagua kupigana na kuchokoza watu wachokoze lakini let them not drag us innocent leaders into their mix si ndio into their mix na wanapenda kutaja mimi ni kama wananiogopa sana ni kama ni kama hii jina Lomorukai na Potikan if there is one of them who really needs to have a name like that or names like those eh niko tayari kuwapatia hayo majina si ndio wanatamani jina sana wanataja unaona kaimsi wengine na Potikan sijui unaona mwingine suji anakaje na Potikan what is wrong with these people ya yeah, napotika tu unataja because you feel napotika lazima awe kwa shida ile wewe umeingia shida yako ni yako shida napotika ni anapotika si ndio kwa hivyo die your own death na hiyo mambo ya kuchochea ghasia kati ya majirani sisi tumeweka amani for nine good years tumeishi na north pokot kwa amani kwani hii report haiko kwa serikali is not there with government si iko eh watu wa Turkana South kama ingekuwa jeshi wangekuwa kwa bahari ya Turkana wangekuwa huko so kuna mambo sa zingine they beat logic si ndio kuna vitu vingine tu ina beat logic etu kwamba the people were not doing anything etu sisi tuna supply suji nini kwani sisi ni wanda sim tu tunapewa NPR alafu tunaenda kufanya vitu vingine what we want the government to do to continue giving us more NPR so that Turkana county which is the only county that is surrounded by enemies all round a full circle you were protected na serikali ya Kenya na tumepeana land ya jeshi kule Turkana west kule kwa bahari Turkana north tumepeana Turkana central tumepeana Turkana east tunataka majeshi waletwe kwa hizo lands ili wa Turkana wawe protected kama watu wana ready karibu na lodwa sincel speaking hivi tu lazima tupate attention ya president wetu tuongee na ijulikane wazi ni nini inafanyika katika county ya Turkana kama lopi inaweza rediwa lopi is hardly 15 kilometers away from lokichar wale watu wanaweza fanya ku, ni kama yani kutoka hapo molo unakuja una raid na kuru mambo kama hayo hatuta condone hatuta nyamaza ati sisi tukiongea kwa nini tunapigwa eti tume inside hiyo ni sawa mdomo yangu haitawahi fungwa my friend kwa sababu ya kuongea haki kwamba watu wangu wameuliwa kwamba ardhi ambayo tumejenga na pesa zetu za account zinachomwa na majirani logumi imechomwa na dome imechomwa na dome nyingine ya east imechomwa na petrom na dome kila mali imeteketezwa si tumeteketeza mali ya jirani hata moja i think lazima wale watu wanaleta tu kwa hii mix wapige magoti na waombe Mungu si ndio because you are bringing an innocent community a peace loving community into a mix of another community kama kuna community imekatash kufuata sheria si watu wafuate hiyo community community inapigana mara kwa inapigana siji na nani inapigana na waluya inapigana wa sebei inapigana wa turkana how can one community fight all the communities in kenya since i'm speaking kwani bila hii community kenya haiwezi ishi haitakuwa hatutakubali watu kama hawa na sisi kama viongozi wa turkana viongozi pia wa noreb we must stay together hakuna siku tazema ati jeremia ame ame insight watu na wakati unauaua watu uzifikiri pia hiyo kuua watu wetu juzi una wanaua nini NPR ameenda na bunduki ya serikali mbili nobody has followed them so these people have taken the law into their hand and this country must rise into an occasion kuhakikisha kwamba hao watu walivu wa kuhakikisha wanaua askari wanachoma magari wanaua watu wanaua walimu wanaua everything mwalimu gani sisi tumeua mali ama hata daktari ama hata ama ipi yao nothing at all so sisi tunakuja hapa tu to fulfill an obligation kwamba we've been called by the 
institutions of government ambayo inaangalia mambo ya serikali ndio tumefika we are so obedient law loving citizens of Turkana county na tutaendelea kuwa namna hiyo lakini watu wazicheze na zizi kila wakati let them be told hatutakubali kupigwa kila wakati yes yeah, hatutakubali yeah, you can't beat us hmm? we are a powerful community lakini tunapenda inchi yetu kwa sababu we have a country to protect yeah. There is no community the yani in the north rift we can't get a community like Turkana county very strong na lazima tu uwe peace loving ndio tuchunge serikali yetu kuharibiwa na walifu lakini lazima pia wajue sisi wale tuna tunapenda amani tupewe sawadi sio tuleto kotini si ndio sio tupelekwe kwa mahakama kama mimi napenda amani natakana nipewa sawadi ama nifungwe kama kuna governor natakana apewe medal kubwa katika Kenya hii ya kufanya mambo ya amani ni simba mwenyewe si ndio ni simba mwenyewe hii medal mnapeana hapa bure you are fail to give to the right person because ile amani mimi nimefanya turukana turukana na Kenya hii ni kubwa hakuna lazima nitambulike nitambuliwe na wana Kenya si ndio kwa hivyo kamunana kala kabala yango kingaraka ya kujadaki ya mara lakara kotere ni tumalu ya kolwa na akuru unajua ni turuka ya kolwa turuka na denda kopana si ndio kwa hivyo ndio sisi tunapenda na watu wana akuru na pia tunapenda watu wetu ambao wanaishi na wakikuyu na makale njini wajaluo makabila yote yana kuru na mimi nataka kufurahia governor wa hapa ambaye pia ni mama mzuri rafiki yangu kwa kushikilia vizuri na kushika watu wetu na tunaomba ashike watu na sisi tutakuwa tunakuja tunapata chama justice tunapata yale viongozi wote wa vikundi vyetu ya Turkana County tuseme support governor yule tunataka ndio ni kwa leo na msiogope kutafuta usaidizi huko kuna ardhi huko yenu wakati unataka kuishi huko kuja hisi ni mahali penu kwani chaeni kutukana yule governor hako sasa ni governor ya waturukana wote uwe laikipia uwe mambosa uwe wapi lazima tuwe kitu kimoja na tuishi pamoja kwa president wetu wa vijana wetu wa university na pia viongozi wa colleges yote mimi nataka kuwashukuru kwa sababu ya support na umoja wenu kila wakati wakati mnatuona tuko kwa shida kama viongozi wenu muo mnakuanga handi mnakuja mara moja kusupport sisi kusupport sisi hatutachukua haya maneno for granted you are a youthful team na tutawapenda na tutawasupport we are going to support you yeah tutawasupport kwa ile njia inatakana to the members of the fourth estate i just want to say thank you to you because this coverage alone is very important i never knew there was a coverage ahead of us here in akuru but immediately we came we saw you everywhere and this is the governor for turkana yes na ile report mtapeana just ile bila nimesema there is no peace loving governor ni kukuja i need you people to come so that i give you what we have done to make this country peaceful mkuje we've gone to uganda to talk to to sale the general sale the brother to the president museveni so that our boys who have been jailed in uganda be released none of these other leaders have attempted to, to do that kuna pokozo wamefungwa huko mimi ndio naenda kuteta huko uganda ili wawe released where are these leaders these noise makers mimi nimekutana na viongozi wa Uganda zizi hapa au MCS na members of parliament of Turkana county we've met all of the leaders of the neighboring constituencies or sub counties juzi tare tare moja tare nne nini tare nne mwezi wa kwanza we met them then tare tena karibu 12 we've met to discuss how we can live together 
hakuna mtu mwingine amefanya i've gone to ethiopia to go and release our boy yule alifungwa huko for more than 6 months yes. i made the president of of south ethiopia south homo region to release that boy we handed over to the community of Turkana North, to, the, to his people. There are so many very vital issues I've done as a governor. Kuweka amane kama mbunge, when I was a member of county assembly in Turkana County in 2013, mimi niliweka amani na mweshimua protest, nikaingia nikawa mbunge, nikaweka amani nao, iko west nini Pokot North, for now more than nine years. Na hawa ni pokot. Kwa ni pokot gani hawa naongea? Alabo yuna tu wanataja suja tu lohima wananunuliwa nini? Lohima are not fighting with any pokot anywhere. Tunaisi mini kienda pokot north na kaa kama governor wawo. Those are some of the facts we need to put right and straight to the public. Those things we have not said because some of us are not noise makers. We speak when it's necessary. Lakini kukua kwa media kela ziku paroting because you want to become governor. You want to become what? Mimi hata wakati likuwa nataka kwa governor. Hakuna muta likuwa na nijua. I was doing my thing silent na nikapita kwa kura ya jabu. Kwa hini. Hata kutifanya kele. Kwa hayo mengi, munga wa saidi nataka mjue mama wa nyumbani. Hako hapa. Muone pia na yeye. Kwa hini. Bwana asifiwe. Eh nina furaha siku ya leo. Manake Yesu Kristo ameweza kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Nami nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa yale ameweza kutufanyia miaka baada nyingine. Ametutoa mbali na fita hii ni fita ya kawaida. Nataka kusema ukiwa Mkristo lazima upigwe fita. Fita ni ya kawaida. Na ukiwa kiongozi lazima upigwe nini? Fita. Na lazima usimamie nini? Fita kwa sababu ya kuongoza uh, kaunti ya Turkana ama wananchi. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi jana nimekuwa Kotido, nimesafiri kutoka Kotido huko Uganda. Jana usiku yote nikafika saa hizi hapa asubuhi kwa sababu ya kuja kuwakilisha mme wangu anaitwa kwa sababu ya jambo gani? Mm. Ni jambo ya wananchi ndio anaitwa nani? Lazima atetee haki ya wananchi ya Turkana. Yes. Na nataka waimisha nyinyi wa Turkana wakaji wanakuru wa kuwa tukaya tukituke tu, tukaya tukiomba Mungu tukiombea gavana wetu wa Turkana ili aweze kuelekeza Turkana mbele. Bwana wetu napewa sifa. Kwa sababu kila mtu anajifunia inchi ambaye ni yake. Sivyo? Kwa hivyo mimi sinanga mengi wakati anasimama sina mengi. Mimi ni Mkristo ni mcha Mungu. Nilitoka kotido saa nne. Nikafika saa nina usiku lodwa. Nikuwa ndakana nitoke saa sita lakini nikaita maombi nyumbani. Nikafanya maombi nikatoka saa tisa usiku. Amen. Amen. That's what naona mungu wa meakilisha kila kitu imeenda sawa sawa. Hata kama kuna yale mengine mebaki mungu atasaisha na itakamilika. Mimi kwa majina naitua Lilian Kamdei Ekamais na Potikan. Mbarikiwe sana. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Asante. Ah,